Hey guys, just a quick Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild roundup video. Firstly, Eiji Onuma, producer of Legend of Zelda series, has stated his top three Zelda games to be number three, Twilight Princess, the first game he worked, well, producer on, second, Ocarina of Time, obviously, and third, Phantom Hourglass. Yes, really. But he said he's got his own reasons behind it. When you work on a game, you um, you fall in love with it in a different way to what you might do when you play it, is basically what he said. I think he could call it ugly as well. It's, I don't think it's ugly, it's just going back to that, um, that one temple again and again. And also the fact that you have to use a stylus, you could for all gameplay, it's not like Skyward Sword where you walk with the analog stick and use the Wii Remote to swing the sword. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, the next thing is El Numa did an unboxing of the Legend of Zelda European Limited Edition set, in which you get the soundtrack, you get the game, and you get the um, it's a model of the sword, the, the Master Sword of Resurrection is called. And just next to the sword is a little flower you may have seen in the logo of the game. It's been revealed that this flower is called a Silent Princess, which is interesting. Um, these flowers can be found around Hyrule. They seem to represent life or something. In the grove where the Master Sword is kept, there's flowers right next to it. Which it could be suggesting that the Silent Princess has some kind of, you know, in order to resurrect the Master Sword and people, maybe some kind of magic or even supernatural power. But we'll find out in about nine days, is it? Well, you will. I can't afford a Wii U or a Switch. So yeah, I'll find out in a few months. Or over YouTube, someone will do a video on it. I'd also like to mention, in the um, American limited edition pack of Breath of the Wild, you get some map of Hyrule. It's the one you may have seen with all the Sheikah or Hylian around it, which um, Zeltic and a few other people translated but it's got in the middle it's got the Calamity Ganon being fought by two people on either side one on the left is a woman looks like Princess Zelda and on the right is a, a large stocky red-haired male it doesn't, doesn't look like Link it looks like a Gerudo. How many male Gerudos can you think of? Right, so this is this is strange, but it looks like Princess Zelda is fighting the Calamity Ganon along with Ganondorf. So Ganondorf is fighting Ganon. Yeah, so I don't know what this means or if it it is Ganon or if it's just another Gerudo because the Gerudo are in the game. But wouldn't that be cool if um, somehow Ganondorf got separated from Calamity Ganon? It was only Demise's curse and Ganon's influence which made Ganondorf such an evil man. Perhaps he's always, you know, he's a powerful man, he's the leader of the Gerudo and he wants best for his tribe, but we saw in Wind Waker that he didn't want to. He didn't want Hyrule destroyed. He wanted Hyrule to stay. He just wanted to rule it. But the king destroyed Hyrule by flooding it. So yeah, we'll see where that leads to in Breath of the Wild. Right. The next thing is in the United States, people who have um, pre-ordered the Breath of the Wild Collector's Edition, Amazon have sold out and a lot of people's pre-orders have been cancelled as well as the fact that 
the game, just the game by itself, is sold out as well. And a lot of people are obviously annoyed about this because you, you pre-order something you expect they will honour it, but they've been given like $10 refunds. So this is, well it's bad news for the people who pre-order, but it's good news for the game and it seems that it's popular. It's going to sell well, it bodes well for the Switch, even though Breath of the Wild is a Wii U game ported over to the Switch some weeks. So yeah, if you pre-order, ho hopefully you'll get it and they won't cancel it. But as I said, this is Amazon in the United States. So um, that will be it for today. But if you like this, subscribe and like and all that. I hate saying that, but you've got to to get any subscribers. I've got like eight or something. But thank you for watching.